Welcome to Free Math. In this video, we have got this uh, right triangle uh, ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, tiny segment uh, BD is uh, 5 units, whereas this uh, segment uh, AD is uh, 13 units. And now our task is uh, to calculate these uh, missing side lengths. Uh, B, C, this uh, perpendicular uh, C, D and this uh, side length uh, A, C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first step. We are going to label the side lengths. I'm going to label uh, this uh, side length uh, as uh, lowercase a, this side length uh, ac as uh, lowercase b, and this uh, whole uh, side length uh, ab as uh, lowercase uh, c. And moreover, I'm going to label this uh, tiny side length uh, bd as uh, x, and this uh, side AD as uh, Y. And finally, this perpendicular CD, I'm going to label as uh, lowercase h, the height. Then in this case, uh, our X value is five, our Y value is uh, 13, and our this whole uh, C value is going to be five plus 13 is going to give us uh, 18. And now our task is to find the value of lowercase a, lowercase b, and this uh, height uh, h. And here's our very first method. And now let's recall the Euclid's theorem. For this uh, given right triangle ABC along with this uh, perpendicular CD. Then our very first uh, Euclid's uh, theorem is uh, this uh, height uh, h square is going to be equal to the product of these uh, two side lengths uh, x uh, and y as you can see over here and we are going to apply this uh, theorem on this uh, given problem in our case uh, our x value is 5 and our y value is uh, 13 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, formula so h square is going to be equal to 5 times uh, 13 so therefore uh, h square equal to 65 and I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our h value turns out to be square root of uh, 65 uh, units. So thus our height h value turns out to be square root of uh, 65 by using this uh, Euclid's theorem. And now let's recall the Euclid's uh, second theorem, a square, this side length uh, a square is going to be equal to the product of this uh, side length uh, x uh, times uh, this whole side length c, as you can see over here. And in our case, uh, our x value is uh, 5 and our c value is uh, 18. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So a square is going to be equal to our x value is 5 times our whole c length is 18. So therefore a square equals to 90. Let me undo this square by taking square root on both sides. So therefore our a value is going to be equal to 3 times square root of 10. So thus our this uh, lowercase a value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 10. And here's our Euclid's uh, third uh, theorem. We got this side length uh, b whole square equals to the product of uh, this uh, segment y times this whole uh, side length c as you can see over here. And in our case our y value is uh, 13 and our c value is 18. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula. So b square equals to our y value is 13 times uh, 18. So therefore uh, b square is going to be equal to 
234. I'm going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our lowercase b value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of uh, 26. So thus our lowercase uh, b value turns out to be 3 times square root of uh, 26. And here's our second method. And in this method, I'm going to show you the proof uh, as well. How did we come up with these uh, answers for a, b and this height h? And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, uh, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this is our angle uh, alpha. We know this is our 90 degree angle. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle beta. And for this uh, triangle, we know this angle is 90 degrees. This angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And finally, we know this whole uh, angle is 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this remaining angle uh, has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, BDC and this uh, other right triangle uh, ADC are our two similar triangles according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore, we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of these uh, side lengths uh, CD and BD is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, a, D, and C, D, as you can see over here. And in our case, uh, our this uh, C, D is uh, lowercase h. So I'm going to replace this one by lowercase uh, h over here. And likewise, uh, this C, D is uh, lowercase uh, h as well. And our this uh, segment B, D length uh, is uh, 5. So therefore, uh, I'm going to replace that one by 5 over here. And finally, this uh, side uh, AD is this our length uh, 13. So I'm going to replace that one by 13 over here. As you can see over here in this uh, next step after the substitution. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore, we are going to get uh, H square equal to 5 times 13 is going to give us uh, 65. And now I am going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our h value turns out to be square root of uh, 65. So no wonder our this uh, h value once again turns out to be square root of 65 by using uh, this uh, method. And now let's focus on this uh, small triangle uh, BDC and focus on this uh, other big triangle uh, ABC. Then we can see that both of these uh, triangles are uh, similar triangles as well according to angle-angle similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, the ratio of BC and BD is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AB and BC. And let's focus on this uh, side length BC is being represented by lowercase a. So therefore, I'm going to replace this one with the lowercase a. Likewise, uh, this BC length is going to be lowercase a as well. And this uh, segment BD length is going to be 5. So I'm going to replace that one with 5. And uh, finally, this whole uh, AB length uh, is going to be 18. So I'm going to replace that one with the 18 over here. As you can see in this uh, next step after the substitution. And now we are going to cross multiply. So therefore a times a is going to give us uh, a square equal to 5 times 18 is uh, 90. And now I am going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides. So therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of uh, 10. So therefore, we can see our this lowercase a value once again turns out to be 3 times square root of 10. And finally, let's focus on these uh, two right triangles. This uh, triangle uh, ADC and this uh, other big uh, triangle uh, ABC. 
and we can see both of these uh, triangles are uh, similar triangles as well according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of uh, ac and ad is going to be equal to the ratio of the side lengths uh, ab and ac and in our case uh, our this side length uh, ac is being represented by lowercase b so i'm going to replace that one with b and likewise uh, this uh, ac length is going to be lowercase b as well and our this uh, ad segment uh, is uh, 13 so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 13 and finally our this whole uh, ab side length uh, is going to be 18 so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 18 as well as you can see in this uh, next step let's cross multiply so therefore we are going to have uh, b square equals to 234 and now we are going to undo this square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore our side uh, b value turns out to be 3 times square root of uh, 26 so therefore our this uh, b value indeed turns out to be 3 times square root of 26 so thus our unknown side length uh, ac turns out to be 3 times square root of uh, 26 our side length bc is uh, 3 times square root of 10 and our uh, side length uh, cd is uh, square root of 65 and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye